a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Hexa by Vincross. Now this particular robot is not out in the market, but it will be on Kickstarter very soon. So if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below. Now this was actually sent over just so we can review it, so I'm really excited to show you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here's our box and as you may have already noticed, it is quite large uh, and it's got a very nice looking artistic piece on the top here. Now you do see the robot as well as the word Hexa, but the detail is that each of these little dots are actually letters as well as symbols. So it's actually quite a very unique looking piece as well as it's quite interesting as well. Now when you go ahead and open it, you just kind of slide off the cover like so. And on the top here you'll actually notice it's got an instruction manual with a very nice like foam cushion to it. Now in here it kind of explains to you how to start it up, uh, it tells you how to troubleshoot the actual hexa, as well as just different things in terms of development and so on and so forth. Now what's underneath here is what we're looking for and there you have it. This here is our robot and it's got a very interesting design. Uh, it's got like a little cushion for the actual robot itself to sit in and then you can have, you actually see the uh, charging cable like that. So you just go ahead and lift that up and just take it off like so. And uh, yeah, so it's just a very basic charger. Uh, so it looks like it's got a little charger port here, but it's actually got its own dock. So let's go ahead and lift this robot up. So it just kind of like slides right out. There we go. <laughs> there, that's our Hexa. Looks really cool. Uh, and then down here we actually have our charging dock. Now this actually plugs into the wall and then the Hexa actually sits on top of it. Uh, there is an LED on the bottom so it does glow quite nicely and looks really interesting. Alright, so this here is our Hexa and as you can tell it is quite large. Uh, it does measure about 20 inches from like one length to the other. And then in addition it is about 4 inches high. Now it does stretch up when you actually stands up as well as when it goes down. Uh, and then in terms of the legs itself, each of them do have 3 degrees of freedom. Meaning it does have 3 servos on each of the legs. And then in addition the head itself actually can rotate a full 360 degrees. So it does actually have a lot of different movements. Now this actually actually has its own processor in which it actually has a dual core ARM Cortex A9 processor that's at 1 gigahertz. Now in terms of connectivity it does go by Wi-Fi uh, and then it does actually have quite a few different sensors including a 3-axis accelerometer as well as an infrared transmitter and a distance measuring sensor as well. Now the camera itself which is down here shoots at 720 uh, and it's actually quite, uh, quite well defined. Now if we actually move the cap on the top here you can actually see the interfaces. Uh, in which it actually has a USB interface so you can actually connect to it as well as an audio output and input and among other things. Now this actually does have a pretty good battery life which actually functions about 4 hours and then in terms of charging time it takes about 1.5 hours uh, and then it does have a storage of 8 gigabytes. So it's actually a very nice defined robot and as you can tell the quality itself looks really nice. Uh, it's got a lot of different colors to it which it has a very nice white gloss piece on top as well as rubber pieces for its legs as well as on the bottom everything is nicely covered using nice tubes and so much more. So with that being said, let's go ahead and give our Hexa a test drive. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the app here and connect to our actual Hexa itself. Now do note that it does connect using Wi-Fi. So it actually has less problems and it actually connects a lot smoother as well. So as it is connecting, it will actually update to the latest firmware as well as all the different upgrades. Now that we're actually connected to our actual Hexa, we can actually go ahead and look at the menu itself. Now do note that the menu actually has a lot of different things going on, but the main thing is to look at the explorer mode, which allows you to give the full control over the robot. In addition, there's a dance feature which allows you to actually kind of maneuver him and do different dance steps, which is actually quite entertaining. Now there's actually a skill store which allows you to download different skills that developers have created that allow you to actually kind of customize and program the robot the way you please. Now one of these is actually bullfighting which we'll go into a little bit later. So let's go ahead and open up explorer mode. Now explorer mode is actually quite interesting because it gives you the full control over the robot. So one thing I want to note is that it does have a nice camera which you can actually see me, hey guys, and then you can actually go ahead and rotate it just like this. So the rotational of it is actually a full 360 so you can actually rotate it all the way around. So it actually gives you a nice range of motion. Now, depending on the way you actually angle it, you can actually go ahead and move forward and the robot will move in that direction. <laughs> then if you hit back, the robot will move back. Now, same way with left as well as right, the robot will actually function in that different kind of uh, direction. 
Alright, so in addition to moving the camera from left and right, we can actually move it up and down as well. So let's go ahead and move it up. So as you can tell, he's actually putting his legs down on the back and lifting his legs from the front. Now, that's as high as it'll go. Now if we go down, he'll actually tilt down as well. So pretty interesting. And then you can just go ahead and you can actually move him based on that too. Now, in addition to that, there's actually different functionalities such as wave. And then you can actually select on different ones including crossing a gap, raising the left hand, raising the right hand, cheers. Let's try that. That's cheers. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. And then from there, you can actually go ahead and select on different ones, such as climb the staircase and say hi. So there's actually quite a few different things you can do with Hexa, which is pretty nice. Now, you'll notice there's another button here on the side. It actually determines what kind of walk pattern there is. So right now, we're currently in the normal pattern. Next is called March. Now, with March, you might notice that he's actually taking giant steps. This is actually allows him to cross over various different kind of terrains, including bumps, rocks, and so much more. Now, cave is a, is a little bit interesting because it allows him to go into tight spaces. So, for instance, there you go. <laughs> so, he'll actually kind of like squeeze himself up and you'll actually get low to the ground. So, let's go ahead and go back to normal. And now, on the right, we'll actually see the yaw. Now, this will actually allow us to increase the height of our hexa, as well as decrease the height of our hexa and actually control him based on that height. So it's actually quite interesting. So for instance, if we get really tall up, we can actually move him and he'll actually walk just like that too. So it's actually a really interesting robot and this the Explorer mode is pretty nice because there's so much you can do with it. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can climb this block. So we're gonna go ahead and move up to the actual stair itself and then hit climb and see if he can actually climb it. Yeah, good job, Hexa. So as you can tell, he was able to climb the step all on his own. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, so the next thing I want to do is see if actually Hexa can cross this gap. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gap button and let's see what happens. And there you have it. So Hexa was able to actually climb over this gap. So that's actually quite impressive for this robot. Now, another thing that we haven't really looked at is the functionality of night mode. So if by simply clicking the button, you'll actually see the night mode on. You see a little red laser right there? Now this will actually create a uh, night light that'll allow you to see in the dark. So it's actually quite nice. Now, in addition, you can actually take photos by pressing this photo button here, as well as record different footages as well. So in this challenge here, we're going to actually use Hexa and have him go through this obstacle course in which you'll actually have to climb over these blocks, go into the other room, and all the way underneath the bed to save his pal Cosmo. With that being said, let's go ahead and try this out. Ready, Hexa? Alright, so we're going to have to get over this stuff here. So let me go ahead and just turn the camera. And alright, there's the stuff. Just going to move forward. Okay, I think that's about good, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to climb the stair and uh, press that button.
So I'm going to go ahead and look just a little bit forward here and look down and see if we can look down at the actual drop itself. Bit of a drop there. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to mark and push. There we go. And let's go ahead and straighten them out. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the night vision. You can tell the room itself is quite dark. There we go. Alright, so So let's go ahead and go back. Now when we go back here and we can go onto another app such as Dance. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now Hex is a little bit of a dancer here as you'll see. And it's actually quite funny to see. So if you click on Dance Move and hit Select, there you go. That's him dancing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and set him up just a little. There you go. So you guys can see. And there's various dance moves in which you can actually control the speed. For instance, this is slow. And this is fast. So you can see his servos are quite quick. That's like a wave. It's a shake. <laughs> uh, different kind of shakes there. So pretty interesting moves. Um, and they have actually had a lot of different things programmed in here. So you can actually go ahead and look at all those. So it's interesting how he likes balances himself and is able to shift his weight. It's a pretty cool looking robot. Now he's kind of like marching in place. <laughs> and then there's a few different ones. Here's like a little dance. And that's like a, like a, looks like a wave. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, it kind of gives you an idea, and then you can actually always create your own kind of dance moves and actually program them to do that as such. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the actual bullfighting app. Now, Hexa has color recognition, so what he's going to do is he's going to actually scan the perimeter, and when he sees the color red, he's going to go after it. So let's try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. So Hexa is currently scanning for red. And I put a red pillow right over here on the right. And, he <laughs> and there he goes. He is charging at it. Holy moly. Okay, okay, Hexa. <laughs> so uh, just like a bull, he does go quite crazy. And yeah, very interesting app and really cool. So let's go ahead and hit quit and check out something else. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is called Turn Me Over. Now, this app that somebody designed, literally you turn Hexo over and he'll start shaking his legs saying, I'm dying. So let's try this out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and flip him back. There you go. And as you can tell, he stopped. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you can create. So the possibilities are really endless. And with all the different functionalities as well as the software with this actual robot itself, it's really interesting on what you can actually create. All right, well, there you have it. Hope this video gives you an idea of what Hex is about. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you want your very own, check out the link down below as well. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.